Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to see how to use attachments and send them out in your Google email. So here I have a folder. This folder has three text files and one PDF file. Now note that this folder here, if I right click on it and go to share, it is shared for anyone on the internet. If it's not like this, just click on change, click here and put anyone with the link. If you are using Google in your company, this might change, you may have a setting for your own company, so choose that. Now, I'll open here the spreadsheet, which is right here, and I'll create a new tab. I'll call this files and leave it as is for now. Here I'll add attachment name and attachment ID. Note that in the previous videos, I always spoke about that if you want to add more stuff, always go to the last column. So that's what we are doing here right now. Also, this one here will be a formula. So I'll change the color. I like changing colors for formulas so people don't go and write above them. And let's leave it as is for now. Click on Tools and Script Editor. This will open your project. Here I erased the send mail function, so we only need the send HTML mail, and I created the attachments code. So just click on the plus sign, create a script, call it attachments. Inside the script here, it's called retrieve and list files, this function. Inside it, I'm getting the spreadsheet, I'm getting the tab named files, those two lines, you can just come here and copy it from here. And then we have a new part here. So we are getting the folder. This folder, I'm getting it by the ID. So I came here, right click, get link. Just copy this. Then I come here, paste it inside the brackets and erase the first bit and the last bit after the question mark here. So this is my folder ID. Then I'm going to get every single file inside this folder. So this will be a vector. Now I'm going to store this data on a list. I want to get the name, the ID, and I just want to get the size for information. But if you don't, just erase this and erase this part here. So while we have files inside the folder, I'm going to get a single file. So files.next will bring me one file. I'm using a row variable here and I'm just pushing the data inside this row. So I'll get the name, the ID and the size. And then for this row that's ready, I'm going to push it on the list here. This will make my list filled out with the information I need. And then I'm going to write this information on this tab here. So the files tab, I'll write it here. So I'm using the sheet get range, start on column one, line one, then set my list there. If I run this, and if it's your first time running this, remember that Google will ask you for permissions, so just allow them. So if I run this, execution started and completed. And if I come here, you see now that I have the name, ID and size, and the files I have inside my folder. Just resizing them here. So you can see that I have the names, I have the IDs and I have the sizes. Now back into our first tab, I'll add here a drop down. So data, data validation, list from range. So I'm going to click there, files, and I'll select the range here. I want to start on line two. Okay. So back here, you can see that now I can select the files from a drop down and I'll just add this to the other lines too, here. 
me just erase because I don't want everyone to be file tree. Now here I'm going to use a formula, so a simple VLOOKUP, so I'll type if error, then VLOOKUP, search this, then I go to files, select A to B, I want the second column and I don't want anything sorted. And then if this is an error, meaning like if it's empty, I just want to bring nothing. And then I'll push this down here. Now, the idea would be to add this to the whole column, but as I only need those lines in this example, I won't be dropping them lower. So here I'll just select some sample files, like you can see that it's bringing the information. And this last line is not sent. But before we send the email, we have to make some adjustments to check for the file name and also to see if it has an ID here. So back in your script, I'm going to go to the email here, then let me just close the execution log. This is just the same way it was before, this is all the same way it was before, but now I made some changes here. In the previous part, we only had this one there, let me just uncomment this actually. So we only had this line and then those lines here. What we have now is I'm checking if the length of the file name is greater than 1, meaning that it has data here, so it's not empty. And if it has data, then I'm getting row 10. Row 10 is the file ID from this column over here. Then I'm going to send the email, and all I did here was add the comma, attachments, double dots here, and a file between brackets, because the file here is the same one here. Note that attachments has an S here, so don't write attachment, this won't work. And also remember to put the file between brackets here. And else, I'm just going to send the email without attachments, because if this line is empty, it means that there's no attachment to be sent, so I don't want to send anything. But if it has, I'm going to send the attachment. Also, to make it easier to update this tab here, you can go in your menu here and add an item called refresh attachments or update attachments and call that function we created. So here we have the hit retrieve and list files. So when you open here again, you see that it's here now. Retrieve and list files. So if you come here and update the spreadsheet, you see that a new button will show up. I didn't update it yet, so it's not showing up here. Now, just show you guys, I'm going to come here in email, and then I'm going to run this code here. So it's running, it detected my email here, and now it completed. If I go here to my email, you see that I received an email here, and I also have the file, which is file 1, which is this one right here. If I click on it, it will open. It's just some dummy text, so it's, there's nothing inside. But if I come here and erase this, let me just show you guys that. I have no attachments in this example, and if I run this again, it sent. If I come here, I received the email, but there's no attachments now. Also, Remember to erase, where was it, here, remember to erase the send mails, also remember to erase the send mails from your menu, so if I come here, I don't want this anymore because I don't have this option anymore, so just erase it there, because here we only have the sent HTML mail, so if I come here and refresh the page, just wait a little bit for it to load, So you can see that we have the same HTML mails and refresh attachments. So if I go here in my attachments and erase something like remove this and remove file 2 for example, I can come here, refresh the attachments, you see that it's running. But if I come here, you see that now I have file 3 and file 1, but it's still referencing file 2 and file 1 because previously the test was here and the file 3 was here. So if you're erasing stuff, Make sure to 
you erase everything and then refresh like this but if you just add more stuff you can just refresh and it will just add more lines here refresh everything so there's nothing to worry about so that's it for sending out attachments in your google emails thank you for watching and have a great day if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment down below don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted thank you for watching